Planet Zoo's 1.11 update gave us so many awesome new biome skirts. They're absolutely incredible. They're beautiful. Only problem is they're a little too naturalistic. I know a lot of my friends really expected some nice city skirts. And yeah, if only we had them. Oh wait. Welcome everyone to another video. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf and it's so great to have you guys back over here for another little bit of a video. Uh, of course, this isn't like a PowerPoint or anything like that. So, I wanted to show you guys my little tricks over here that I picked up from my good buddy Just Goron. Please, go subscribe to him. Here, here's his, like, face, uh, his icon, his logo. Please, he does really awesome stuff. He does awesome zoo recreations. He works on a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful zoo with Mr. Wyatt and Mr. Eben. He does zoo tours. He does it all. And he really deserves a lot more recognition, so please go follow him. But anyways, I did want to take some time and show you guys some of the cool ways that you can kind of manipulate these skirts and really make them your own. So over here, I will say that you will need free build, which there is an updated patch for it in the description of the video down below. Uh, you just need to join the modding server, that's it. Um, it crashes whenever you click on that terrain stamp thing, so please don't click on that. However, it's going to be really awesome just showing you guys this. So, of course, I have the city map all set and ready to go. Really awesome stuff over here. I just wanted to show you guys how it kind of works. Uh, so, we'll actually pop over to a new zoo and kind of get started on another skirt. So, I'll see you guys there. Well, here we are on the European temperate map, and I already have our prefabs all set and ready to go. Speaking of Eben, I need to give him a huge shout out for these low detail skyscraper facades. These are going to be our bread and butter for today. These are really awesome and really good for giving a sense of scale. So what you're going to want to do, with free build installed mind you, is take one of these pieces, preferably the window, and place it all the way away from your building. Now what you're going to want to do is select the entire building and click X. Now you can see that this is on the grid. All you need to do with rebuild installed is click the comma button and then you can see it now ignores the grid. Very interesting. So with all that being said, you're going to copy all of these and then click X. So now it's going to be in the middle of everything and this allows you to push it far beyond the boundaries. All you need to do also is click Y and that will allow you to place it. So with all that being said, you can now move them to your heart's content. I am using control X to duplicate and push them aside and really figure out where exactly I want these buildings. This is just going to be a kind of rough, rough kind of look at this stuff. Uh, what I'm also going to do is do the same thing right over here. I'm going to place one right all the way over there and then click X on this big kind of chunky building right over here and push it aside and really figure out where exactly I want this nice skyscraper to go. And I could even double it up on itself so that we have a nice big one right over there. Now the fun thing about this is that you could actually select these all and you can't push them back. Oh, I guess you can push them back further. So I guess you can do that, which is very cool. Uh, but you can essentially just play with them outside of the border. Keep in mind that sometimes if you do want to push them way far back which is totally possible you can do that but you can see that it's very far away from the camera all you need to do is shift between camera modes so click t then t again then t then t again and what you're essentially doing is walking so alternating between those two t's will allow you to kind of make yourself and gym yourself all the way over here you could do it kind of getting like oriented down with the ground a little bit it takes a little bit of kind of finagling, but I'm sure you guys can pick it up. Now what you can also do is just place that right down there. Very simple as that. But I hope you guys were able to pick something out of here today. Very simple process of kind of creating your own custom city skirt. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys are able to make some use out of this. I hope this tutorial did come in handy. Again, please go check out my good buddy Just Goron for his awesome content. He was able to discover this like without really doing much and he really deserves a lot more love so please go check him out and also check out Eben too he makes some pretty damn good buildings 
thank you guys so much for watching you guys are always the best and i hope you guys are able to make your own beautiful little city zoos now so i'll take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days goodbye now